What's good, PB gang? It's your boy Poppy Blasted, aka Rope God. Rope God. Rope God. Yeah. And today I'm coming at y'all with a very informative video, a highly recommended video that you guys have been waiting for for a minute. Cause I really don't do crown tutorials like that, but uh, you know, I've been asking for it, so it's only right for me to give it to y'all, right? Let's get it, man. So this video right here is basically um gonna be on like. How to get that line at your crown. You feel me? Like, I had to struggle before. Like, oh, we always get have a struggle. You feel me? Everybody go through the same struggle on your wave journey. We always will have the same struggle. You feel me? Um, basically, how to uh, avoid, how to get rid of or avoid that damn line you get in your crown, all right? Let's, so let's get it. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait, I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait, I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. First off, man, you need to. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna show you guys the essentials that you need for this tutorial, okay? So to get a to to get that crown, that line out your crown, man, you need a comb, fat, a comb, a rat tail comb. You don't have to be this one. It could be any type of rat tail comb. So this one, it could be. We also got this one. You feel me? This is a rat tail comb too. What I mean by rat tail is a comb that has a handle like this. All right, this one, or you can make your you can make a, a handle on your shit. That's what I do on this one. Because this one is like a good, when I'm real whooping, when I'm really whooping, this light tooth comb right here is good also for uh, combing. So it won't like really get too caught up in your hair. And, uh, you know, because sometimes when the bristles are too tight like this, when you use one like this, when you're whooping, it's so tight, your hair too long, that it's like, you kind of like losing hair because you're snagging it too much. So you want a wide tooth bristle comb like this. And then I kind of like got rid of this, you feel me, eliminated all this part so I can do this for my crown. This this one right here. I do that as well. Um, and also, so you need a comb. A comb and a brush. You can use a hard, any little small brush right here. Or you can use the soft one, depending on how thin your crown is or how thick it is or whatever. I use this one all the time. I used to use this one, but being I have two crowns, my crown, is, it gets thin because it's two crowns. So it gets thin. So I use this one right here at times. Or I use a toothbrush, all right? Which is gonna be another video I'm dropping too. You feel me on how to get this issue wave with a toothbrush and a comb. All right, um, your crown, your crown gets issue wave. To wave up with a toothbrush and a comb. Um, so, or, or you can use a Raby Merch brush because it has a peak. You see that right there? That's a peak. So it'd be easier for you to, you know, guide and give me your crown with the peak right here because it's, it's a, um, you know, it's like a triangle peak and it'd be easier for you to get in there and get in your crown or whatever, all right? And then most of all, of course, you need a comb. I mean a comb. Yeah, a comb, but a mirror, all right? So let's get into this tour right now, man. I'm about to comb out, you know what I mean? So we're going to comb out real fast. Um, first off, let me show you how my crown look. Looks like that. You know, I got two crowns. You know, I got one right here and then I got another one right here. So... My crown ain't up to par like that either. Not really. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still working too. You feel me? All these waivers gotta work too. We all gotta work. We all got flaws. But my crown ain't all the way tight like that either. Like, being that I have two crowns, I have two. Like, wolf my crown off for a long time, like months. Because my crown grows slow. And being that I have two, you know, one crown already <clears throat> is already thin. Both of my crowns are thin. It was just, I was just born with two crowns. Yes, you could you could be born with two crowns. Just like 
Um, you could be born with one crown that grows counterclockwise, or the other crown could grow. I mean, one a crown could grow counterclockwise or uh, clockwise. It's the same shit. But um, my 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 dominant crown grows counterclockwise. It grows like this. Um, this way, going this way. It goes that going that way. Um, my other crown, this one, it grows clockwise. So it's crazy though, but I'm about to show you guys right now how I do it. I'm about to comb this shit out. We're gonna comb the crown out. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that line right now. Let's get it. trying to do is you see see how you this is how y'all crown is huh let's make the line making the line I'm trying to make the line as best as I can y'all crown like that huh? like a line like this right see how crown is that's how my crown was before a line a straight line like that because and then when you brush it you brushing it you just separating it more you feel me when you brush it you separating that shit even more, bro. So it's just making a, it's making a more of a line. And then especially when you're woofing, your line get even deeper because your hair be more longer. <laughs> so it makes that line be even deeper, right? Bro, I went through the same shit. I wish I had some pictures I could send you, send y'all and show y'all some shit. I mean, not send y'all, but, but just put it in, in on this video so I can show y'all. I had a line just like that. I just made this line, by the way, just like this. So what you're trying to do is, right, you want to use a rat tail comb. Like I said, I made this comb right here. You want to get this comb, you go to Sally's. You can, or you can order it, or you can go on Amazon. The comb is called a Crest 6000, all right? Crest 6000. Just like this. All right, oh, shit. So what I did basically was I cut out the bristles right here, the bristles, small bristles right here. So that I could use this part for my crown, right? Because you want to use a smaller part. It's easier to get in your crown like this with the small part. So to get rid of that line, first off, you gotta comb a lot. Comb. Combing is the guidance to your crown, okay? That's the guider. You feel me? Comb. You gotta comb. Alright? So use your comb. Also, what you wanna do is use your mirror. Do not blind brush. Because you blind brush, you can, you're not seeing your crown, bro. You're not seeing your crown. And it's you're you're brushing and you're making the line even more bigger. You feel me? So combing and uh brushing with the mirror. All right, that's what you want to do. Okay, now you gotta first the second thing you gotta do is find the next thing you gotta do is find out where your crown is at, bro. And to find out where your crown is at, you have to cut your hair a little short. If you don't know where they're at already, you gotta cut your hair shorter. So I say cut it like a one, like a 1.5. Your, your crown too, so that way you can see. You're gonna see where your crown at because you're gonna see it, it's gonna swirl a little bit. That's where you would know where your crown is at. That's how you find your crown. Your crown is swirling. You will see if you have one or two or whatever. You will see it be swirling. Then, if you're going to beehive, you're trying to get the beehive crown. You have to to avoid getting this line. You have to find out where your crown is. See my crown, my main crown is right here, right? This is my main crown at. So I'm brushing everywhere else besides that part. So what I'll do is I'll comb and brush away from that area. Okay? So you comb it away from it like this. But like I said, my crown ain't my crown ain't the best crown either. You know? We all work in progress, but I know. So 
Because I, I got rid of that line, though. It's just you know, my crown ain't all the way waving through, though. That's the thing. But I got rid of the line for sure. So this is what you want to do. If you want to comb along, 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 uh, away from your uh, your crown, your beat eye language, okay? Comb away from it. All right. You see how I'm making how I'm making it these back straight. Comb away from it. So then, with that angle, you wanna straighten it out like this. It's just combing. Combing just gonna guide her, bro. It's gonna help you out more. You see how I'm getting rid of the line though. Come right here. Basically, combing away from your crown, but it's all angles though. You gotta learn your angles first, and you gonna learn your angles while keep messing with your crown every day in the mirror. When you brush and you comb, mess with your crown, bro. But you gotta know where your crown is at. That's the most. That's the important part is knowing where your crown is at. All right. So once you find your crown, just keep doing this every day. Every day. I mean, of course my crown's still gonna be big because I'm combing. I'm not brushing it, but that's just this is like an example that I can give you guys to and show you guys how to close this shit. You gotta keep fucking with it. <clears throat> keep on messing with it, bro, and it get there. And be patient. See what I'm doing? You see how it's getting starting to be like more of a beehive now? It ain't like you know just regular line crown, you feel me? I'm going, I'm going against it. I know I'll never, I'll never really comb like this backwards like this. I always comb the other way. But I know you guys can see better this way, so that's the only reason I'm doing it like this for y'all. See it now? All you're doing is combing away from your crown. That's all I can say. The best way to explain it is combing away from your crown. But I got two, so my crown ain't gonna be that small. Whereas you got one. You can kill your crown. You got one crown, I got two. So it's gonna connect. So it's gonna be harder for me or for you if you have two to straight to um, get the beat, to get rid of a lot, the line to create a beehive crown. It's gonna be harder. You know, if you wanna go swirl, then it's easier because your hair, your hair naturally grows that way. So when you cut your hair, just find out exactly, you know, how your hair grows, your crown grows, and just brush with it. You're just brushing with the flow. But with your beehive, you have to, like, make the crown. You feel me? You got to make a beehive crown. So that's why it's more challenging. You know, but... Let me see. I'm trying to... This is how I normally comb it, so I can see better this way. But once I get it right, I'm going to show you guys. So you guys can see that, yeah, okay, this is back, regular. Y'all saw, y'all saw already in the beginning how I made a line in my crown. Now I'm just doing this. All I'm doing is brushing against how it grows. That's it. Away from my crown. That's it. Brushing away from it. Yeah, against it. From the, the way that it grows. That's it. All I'm doing. Once you do that, it's gonna be more like a beehive. You feel me? It's gonna be more closed like this. You know? See, you see how the line's going now? But you see my other crown right there. It's about two of the things right there. But you see how the, the line is going now, though? All I did, y'all saw, I just showed you. All I did was comb against it. That's it. Comb against the crown. Away from it. And of course, you got to find the beehive angles. You know, but these are the angles that I use. Your crown might be a, Your crown might be placed in the middle, so your angles might be a little different. But all in all, all it is is, all it is is combing away from your crown. That's it. That's it. And making it flow with your 360 wave. That's all it is. So y'all saw, I had the line in my crown. I made the line in my crown. Y'all also saw me make my 
beehive that's like a beehive now, close it. You feel me? Not all the way close, but I have two crowns. But I close it to the best of my ability. That's how you do it. It's easy. If you got a crown that grows in the middle, you gotta find out your angles for that crown. For that um for that middle crown. I got a crown that goes off to the right side, so my angles be slight differently, different from you guys. But all in all, it's all just using your comb, brushing, brushing your, your um your crown a lot, combing it more than anything. This is going this is like the kickstart for your crown. This is how you create it. You have to comb against it, comb away from it, learn your angles. That's it. That's all it is. Use pomade. You can use some pomade too to you know um, help it to close more. It'll help it also to wave up. Just like when you be starting the beginning using pomade to get the ripple effect. The same thing with your crown. All right, that's it for that, man. How to close your crown, man. How to get rid of that line. That's how I do it. You guys been asking for it. That's exactly how I do it. I know I'm looking ugly because I'm working. <laughs> and I just comb my hair out. My hair is pretty long right now. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video, man. I hope you guys like it, man. Um, if you got any more questions or something I missed out on, you already know what to do, man. Comment below. That's what I'm here for. To help you guys out. I'm about to finish this brush session. You already know what it is. Yeah. I'm about to finish comb and finish this brush session. But uh, y'all stay blessed, man. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, comment below. Also, share the video. Also, if you're new tuning into the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell, right? Boom. Hit the bell right there on the side. Highlight it so you will not miss out on none of my videos I drop in the future. Tomorrow. Today. All right? Let's get it, man. PB Game. Y'all know what it is, man. Dre, Dre, W.